Hello folks, welcome back. So far what we have done is, we have created a repository on our GitHub account and then we have used a git clone command to get that code onto developer system. I mean to say dev system. So these are the steps we have followed. First thing is we have created a repository on GitHub and cloned repository onto dev system. Now let's think in the opposite direction. Before creating a repository on my GitHub account, assume that I have created a repository on my local system. What is the command we use? That is git init, right? If you do remember, we have created a first repository by using git init command. So if we create a repository with git init command, then how can we update this code with the GitHub account? That is what we are going to see. For this one, I am going to use the repository which we have initially created, that is demo repo. So that repository we are going to use to do this activity. Why? Because demo repo is not yet updated into my GitHub account. So I want to update my code into GitHub account so that developer 2 can able to pull the code. I am going to show you how can we do that one. This is my Windows system and here we have created a repository called demo repo, right? So this is the initial repository which we have created in our developer system and it has these three files and if I open git bash over here, okay. So if I do git status, you can see everything is clean in my local repository, nothing but I have pushed these changes to local repository but these changes, but this code is not yet updated in the GitHub yet. And also I can check git log to check the commits. So far I have done three commits and usually if it is attached with the remote repository then you can see the origin link as well. But here you can see only head link to master nothing but it is available only in the local repository. Now my requirement is I would like to share this code with the other developer who is working on Linux system. I mean to say this is the guy. This guy is developer too right. I would like to share this code with this developer. Then how can I do that one? Of course, I need to use the GitHub, right? So first I need to push this code to GitHub so that developer 2 can able to clone the code from the GitHub. That is what we are going to do now. Now how can I push this code onto GitHub? Can I able to do git push origin master? Okay, we'll see what happens if I do that one. You can just see it is saying that origin does not appear to be a git repository, could not read from the remote repository which means that it is saying that okay boss you are trying to push this code onto remote repository but I don't know to which remote repository I would like to push. So now what we need to do is we need to create a remote repository even though we create or we initialize a repository in our local system equivalent repository we should create in the remote repository equivalent repository we should create in the github then we need to combine those two, nothing but link those two repositories so that this repository code get updated into the repository which we created in the GitHub account. That is what we need to do. For this one, I am going to create a repository called demo repo in our GitHub account and we will link up those two. Before linking up, it is time to explore about the .git directory. So let us go inside to .git directory and see what is there. I am giving pwd, I am under my demo repo and if I do ls -a, a to list out the hidden files as well and you can see there is a .git directory. I will go inside to .git directory and if I do ls, you can see there is a file called config. We are going to talk about other files time to time but we are going to talk about config file. Let me open this config file and you can see there is no information about origin. Usually this file contains the information of your remote repository. So far we don't have any remote repository. That is the reason you could not able to see. To understand better I am going to other repository that is already associated with our GitHub account. So this is already associated with our GitHub right. I am going to open git bash over here. And if I do pwd ls a you can see dot git is there. I am going inside to dot git and ls again. Here you can see config and if I open, you can just see remote origin, which means that the remote repository which is associated with this repository. So this particular repository, vt git repo, is associated with the repository which is available in my account and this is the repository name. So that is how the association does happens. 
so even for our other repository nothing but this repository also we need to add this remote origin so we should have a remote repository to do that activity let's go to our github account and create a repository over there so this is my github account and let's go and create a repository i can go and create from here or else i can create from here as well new repository i am creating demo repo okay the name can be anything of course but uh, let it be same or equivalent name so that we can avoid the confusion so we are creating a repository called demo repo that is the repository name we are using here as well right sorry not this one so if you if we see let me close this one and if you see cd dot dot we need to come out from the git otherwise our git commands doesn't work okay so you can see demo repo this is the repository we are creating so demo repo and it is a public repository and i am not initializing the readme file i will tell you why i am not initializing if we initialize readme file we can just see the readme file if you don't initialize readme file just we can create repository you can see some of the instructions we got to proceed further so if we don't create repository we will get this kind of instructions how can you clone this repository into your local system or else if you have an local repository already how can you add that one first we'll start from here we can clone this repository by using https link or else ssh link of course you know by this time next thing is in case if we want to create a new repository first in our local system and then we want to add it then these are the commands okay first we are creating a readme file in our local system and initializing the repository and adding the code to our staging area then committing the changes to the local repository and this is branch we can just ignore that one next thing is you can just see git remote add origin and remote repository url so this is the command we should use to add our local repository with the github account or remote repository so if we do this one this particular repository is get associated with the repository which we have created over here that is what it is going to happen okay this is what we are expecting once this is done we can push our changes into our remote repository nothing but over here we can push it all right so this is another one and uh, at last again they have given in case we have already done this one we have initialized the repository and we have added our changes to local repository as well now we want to do this activity that is git remote add origin and we are adding our repository name let's execute this one and before executing this one make sure that we don't have any files which are uncommitted okay so our branch is clean now i am going to add this one git remote add origin under the origin repository name let me increase a little bit of font size yep okay now let me give enter after giving enter let me open this file again so ls minus a i can open this directly from the dot git slash config okay now you can see earlier file this is earlier one right there were only core entries now this time you can see remote origin entry also added why because we just executed this command so that this local repository is now able to communicate with this repository now let's push our changes to remote repository for that git push origin master okay let's enter and you can see here it is trying to push changes and it won't ask for credentials why because my credentials are already updated in the repository and if you observe this one we have used a ssh based link not the https link all right so this is how we can push our changes now let me refresh it to see the changes and we can see three files are there and also three commits in my local repository i have done three commits right all these three commits are available and it was done yesterday so this is how we can update our code with the remote repository even though we create our repository first in our local system next thing is even developer to also want to work on this code then how can he get this code it is quite simple why because once it is available over here he just need to clone it in case he is doing it at first time now we can use ssh link or https link why because we have keys as well as we have passwords so we don't have any issue 
So I'm using the SSH link only clear the screen and I'm already in the test repo repository. I don't want to clone my another repository inside this repository. So come out git clone and repository name. Okay. So I'm cloning the repository with SSH link and we should able to clone it successfully. So this is how we can work collaboratively by using GitHub. That's all for this section. In next section, we are going to do similar kind of activity, but we'll see as a developer perspective, how can we create a project and push changes to the remote repository? That is what we are going to do. Thanks for watching and see you there.